Hello guys, today I will be telling you how exactly this psychophysiological connection happens. How exactly the mind is connected to whole body. Now let me tell you, the human beings are born with uh, intelligence. Even when he is just a single cell, he has its own intelligence. That own intelligence is sufficient to develop a single cell into a complete human being. Now, this formative intelligence or the intelligence to form a person is inside every single cell in the form of a genetic code or a DNA. Now, this intelligence is there even when you are a single cell and even now when you are a complete formed human being. Now this intelligence is reflected innately, genetically by the way how hypothalamus, a primitive brain and the master gland pituitary wants to or diets to. Now let me, let me tell you exactly how this mind and body are connected. So for anything to happen or for all the physiological functions to happen, there needs to be one controller and this controller is hypothalamus. It, it unconsciously, subconsciously controls your heart beats that your heart should keep beating otherwise you will be gone. Then it also controls the respiration which you are not aware of. If you are again, if it stops then again still you are gone. So without you being aware of these physiological functions happening, it is still happening. Now, if anything happens, a need arises or something stimulates hypothalamus. So, hypothalamus will stimulate pituitary to release some hormones. Hormones means a chemical messenger. Now, this chemical messenger are directly released into blood and it doesn't act there. From release into blood, it goes toward circulation and it acts some distant organ. It acts at some distant organ and produces changes there. Now this distant organ is connected to hypothalamus directly with the help of a chemical messenger. And these chemical messengers are called as neurotransmitters or they are called as hormones. So what are the name they are called? They are more than 30 to 35, these neurotransmitters and messenger molecules present in the body. Now these new chemical messengers connects the mind and brain to every single cell of the body. Now where the mind comes from? I, I told you that hypothalamus is stimulated. Now what stimulates hypothalamus and how? Now let me tell you the example. Suppose you are there with a absolutely normal, normal feeling, absolutely normal and some and let me tell you, okay, let me, just an example, tiger comes in front of you, what will happen? As soon as the tiger comes in front of you, the subconscious or unconscious physiology starts to manifest and you will know you are sweating, your heartbeat increases, isn't it? You feel the fear in every single muscle and cell of the body. Where this came from? This fear stimulated hypothalamus, which stimulated pituitary to release adrenal, adrenaline from adrenal glands and you are feeling all these symptoms. Let me take, give, tell you another example. Something happens to one of your relatives. And suddenly you feel, we, you, we feel very sad and the sadness is all over now. You feel very dull, you don't feel energetic, you don't feel to do anything. How this physiology and muscles are reacting? It again went to the mind, emotion, hypothalamus, then pituitary, then to cell and muscles and now you are feeling too dull to work. Similarly, it has improved that the uh, suppose ulcers are more common in highly anxious people. Then ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease and irritable bowel syndrome are very very common in compulsive, anxious and high strung people. 
then cancers usually happen in single widowed and divorced people why because these type of state of mind release some typical chemical messengers which act on some distant organ to produce the abnormal pathological changes why pathological because they were not needed so when they are produced for a limited time usually they will alter physiology but when they are produced for a long time even when not needed it causes pathological changes now i hope this video explains in short how scientifically mind and body are exactly connected now this is proved that the happy people have a healthy life vice versa is also true healthy people have happy life now where it starts from it starts all from mind if you are a happy person a positive thinker you are more likely to be healthy and less likely to suffer from disease if if i take other way around if you are a negative thinker and a sad person you are more likely to catch some infections and catch some chronic diseases so hence mind and body are always connected and if they are connected why not to use them for good if they are connected why not to focus on your mind because your every thought belief every prejudice every doubt is going to get converted into some kind of a reality on your body it will be reflected on your body so plan what to feed your mind with and see the body responds wonderfully right so thank you guys i hope this explains the scientific aspect of mind body connection the psycho physiological connection and i hope i'm, I'm sure that you will be using this for your benefit thank you